Hello and welcome back to some more Slack Koopa. I'm gonna play this Ryuichi mission and hopefully after this Ryuichi mission it'll be the final mission and the final boss fight and then we will move on to the second world today because that would be great. I would love to move on to the second world finally because we've been playing the first world for quite a bit. So let's get this show on the motherfucking road. Let's get this proverbial show on the proverbial road. Bye. Oh! Nailed it. Nailed it. Fuck you, I farted. It's gonna smell bad in a second. Hopefully that came out on the capture. That'd be funny. Oh god! <laughs> By capture, I meant the microphone. Oh, boy. Damn, dude, where's the fucking Febreze when you need it? Oh, boy. Alright. Okay, Ryuichi. We need to collect samples from those strange plants growing high on the cave wall. Commonly known as the spiky wall climber, it secretes a mild toxin we can use to make sushi rolls that will put any guard to sleep instantly. Just be careful not to be overcome yourself. Bend the sun, did I not explain? You're a ninja master, I know, I know. I, no, allow me to show you how it's done. Well, now at least I know where Sly gets it from. Probably from his dad? If Not from his ancestors. We can rid our land of this villainous tiger. I don't think I've ever in my life had someone be like, "Oh, must have got that from your ancestors." Probably because I didn't fucking get it from my ancestors. Got it from my fucking parents. How do I get up there? Teach me, game. Okay, I'm gonna fucking kill these guys first, you rat fucks. Alright, now I'm gonna sit back and figure out there's a fucking rope right here that I could jump on. God damn it. Way to make me look stupid, game. Thanks. I thought we were supposed to be friends. Oh, and now there's swingy hooks. And then there's a jumpy jump. Swingy hook. More swingy hook. And we're here. We must strike the blossom to extract the poison. <sighs> Interact. Did it. Poison plant seed. This compound will topple even the largest enemy. Sweet. Ah, this poison will make Gonna kill some fucking pigs, bro. Like Literally. And figuratively. Okay. How am I? Run! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 Poison plant seed. Oh, is that it? It was just two of them? That was easy. That didn't even take me five minutes. Sly mission. Sly mission. Sly mission. Sly mission, I'm getting tired. Oh man. <clears throat> I 
I kind of want to get all the masks. But I'm also kind of like, eh, is it worth it? Because it's more of an end game thing as opposed to a while playing thing. Because you get, if you get all 60 of the masks, you get Cole's Amp from Infamous. Which is his weapon. For those of you who don't know. Because you didn't play the Sly Coopers. And 100% it. Like I did, because I have no life. Anyway. You get Cole's Amp from Infamous. And fuck you. Fuck. Alright, run away. So let's run away. That just reminded me. I'm going to see Slipknot on Saturday. Alright, we have all the awesome. intel we need. El Jefe has played Dictator for the last time. And it's time to bring him down. First, we need to open those dragon gates. Thanks to Ryuichi's special sushi rolls, the guards are out for the count. Sly, you'll need to gain access to the switches in their mouths. Next, we'll need to open the palace sword gate. However, the bridge is crawling with guards, so we'll need to create a diversion. Murray, you, Sly, and myself will need to distract the guards. Once they're occupied, Ryuichi can make his way under the bridge to the switch and open the gate. Once we get that gate open, there's nothing stopping us from taking the palace and putting El Jefe in his place. Viva la revolucion! Alright, so there's another trophy tied to this, which I'm going to try and teach you how to get. Uh, which is fairly simple. It's pretty easy to get. Boo, 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 boo. Okay, Would Sly. you sleep? But I mean, kill You'll you. find the switches somewhere inside. And don't forget your armor. Something tells me those yeah. things have uh, very So, bad it's the trophy Cloud City, which basically just requires you to do this entire mission to make it to the... Okay. Basically requires you to do this entire mission so you can make it to the boss fight. So you can beat El Jefe without dying. Or without uh, taking any damage, rather. Not dying. Dying and taking damage are two separate things. You need to beat El Jefe without taking damage. Which is hard, and I'm going to see if I can try and do it on my first try. If not, then I'm not going to be doing it. But if I can do it my first try, then I will be showing you how it's done. Uh, you are allowed to restart from checkpoint. So if you're trying to get the trophy, then you should be able to restart from checkpoint. Well, no, you are able to restart from checkpoint. Not you should be. You can restart from checkpoint. If you get hit and fail it. Let me try and get in front of this guy so I can do that. But yeah, you just want to go through this whole mission. Make it to the ending with El Jefe. And you're going to want to make sure you don't get hit. Because if you do get hit, well, just restart from checkpoint. Because there's nothing else you can do. There's also a bottle over here. Jumping around in the bottom left, I believe. I may have already gotten it. I may not have already gotten it. But, you know. Whatever. I think I already got it because it didn't show it in the cutscene. Bum, bum. If you get lost, activate the compass for a trophy. It's not what it says, but you need to activate the compass a lot for a trophy. My throat also fucking hurts from that fucking square circle shit I was doing earlier. Throat is not meant to do that. Hmm. <sighs>